Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to talk about a question that was given by Shaman Mama. Question is, is paganism, shamanism, or magic methods, rituals, practices for focusing intently on and allowing manifestation as a creator, as if you allow the manifestation because it required a certain frame of mind and from that mindset it is easier to loosen your rigid belief system? Is it then beneficial as a tool to allow Absolutely. All of the earth magics, all of them, are better than the monotheistic religions. That's the reason why they created the monotheistic religions and got rid of all of the earth magics. Because earth magics are in tune with the energy around, around you. Um, almost all of them. So they had to get rid of those in order to get to the third dimension. You can't be one with uh, Earth and the energies around you and get to the third dimension. The third dimension is based on fear. If you're connected with the things around you, which a lot of the Earth magics do, then there's far less fear. Uh, you don't feel alone. With the monotheistic religions, you feel very alone. You feel like you're not good enough, and you feel very, very alone. That's the reason why people panic, and they get stuff. They surround themselves with people, places, things. That's why they do that, is because they are disconnected from the energy of the earth itself. And the earth itself is directly connected with the all that is. So the earth magics are much better at that. That's the reason why they had to make it them so horrible. That's why they had to kill people and get rid of it. That's why all of those went underground for so long. Now, if y'all look around, all of those are coming back, and they're coming back strong. I think uh, Wiccan is one of the fastest-growing religions um, out there today, and that's very much because you could feel that connectiveness with Earth, and then Earth is connected with all that is, so you don't feel nearly the same. You feel at peace. So they're very, very good at getting you better to, to create better. It also helps you create the right things. And I'll give you an example. I mean, I did what I was supposed to do. I got a job. I took care of my kids. I had a big house. I had the nice car. I didn't do jewelry because I just really don't like jewelry. I had a whole bunch of custom jewelry because it was fun. But I didn't, uh, I didn't have jewelry. I didn't spend money on some of the things that society said. But I did what I was supposed to. And I did all that stuff and I, did, I was not happy at all. Then I died. Well, then I got sick and uh, lost a bunch of it. And then I died. And then I came back and I started to do it all over again. I mean, I seriously, I had two jobs and I got a big house and found a way. Even with bad credit after you're dead for 30 days and you lose everything. There are ways for everything. And I got a big house and I got a new car and I had everything back again. It was uh, within a year and a half. And within two and a half years, I was killing myself all over again. And I was six months away from being right back dead. And there was a part of me that wanted to just continue to do that so I could go home again. But I didn't. Because, uh, well, that's not what I was supposed to do. But I did realize that all that stuff that I was supposed to want, I didn't want. I didn't care about the big house. I didn't care about the car. That's not what I wanted. What I wanted was freedom. And if you have a big house and you have the job and you have everything that they say to want, it costs in freedom. Uh, which is why I don't date. Until I find somebody that wants to be as free as I am, um, yeah, there's no point. Because I don't want to be tied down. Um, even the place that Stephanie is going to, I'll be, um, I'll have my bus and I'll come and go from there and assist her in any way that I can. But I'll be free to leave at any time I want to. Because that's what is important to me. But I found that out for me. For me... The number one thing, after helping Guy, of course, is freedom, above all. I don't need clothes. I don't need a bunch of money. I don't. You'd be surprised how little it takes to survive out here if you live the way of, uh, I guess, a nomad. 
Now I have an advantage. I have a daughter who has a, a place that I can come to, but almost everybody has that, uh, that you can leave. But for me, and I'm not saying that's good for you, I'm just saying it was for me. So you have to find out what your real, what you really want, not what society tells you you should want, but what you really want. And that's the difference. And that causes a lot of problems with the law of attraction too, because people will say, I, I want what I, I want what will make me happy. Give me what I want what, that will make me happy. And the law of attraction will try, but usually what that entails is you losing a lot of what you have around you. And when things start to fall apart to get you to what you really want, people panic. And they say, no, 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 wait, 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 don't. I don't want to, I don't want to lose this and I don't want to lose that. Don't, don't make me lose that. But what they don't understand is to get what you really want, what you have usually has to go away first. And you have to be powerful enough and you have to know enough about yourself that that's okay. That letting go of the things that don't make you happy is not a big deal to allow what does make you happy into your life. Okay, well hopefully that answered the question. Thank you for for watching and commenting. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for uh, supporting me. Thank you PayPal and and my um, all the people that support me in all the different ways that you do. I really appreciate it. Huge hugs and I'll see you later. Bye now.